In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. My dear friends today, I want to address a powerful truth found in 2 Timothy 3.12. It says, In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. These words hold deep significance in our current cultural climate, where we witness various agendas and movements that seek to undermine traditional family values and challenge our faith in God. As followers of Christ, we must be discerning and aware of the forces at work around us. It is not a time to be complacent or naive. We need to open our eyes to the realities that surround us and understand the challenges we face. The Bible tells us that if we choose to live godly lives, we will face opposition and persecution. It may come in the form of mockery, insults, or even legal and social pressures. One area where we see this opposition is in the assault on the traditional family. The sanctity of marriage, the value of motherhood and fatherhood, and the importance of raising children in a loving and nurturing environment are all under attack. But we must remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 19, 6. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Let us stand firm in upholding the biblical definition of marriage and the family, knowing that it is the foundation for a thriving society. Furthermore, we are confronted with an increasing hostility towards our faith in God. We are labeled as outdated, intolerant, and out of touch with the times. Yet in John 15:18, Jesus himself reminds us, If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. We should not be discouraged or silenced by the opposition we face. Instead, let us find strength in knowing that we belong to Christ and that our allegiance is to Him above all else. While it may seem daunting to navigate these challenges, we can find comfort in the words of Romans 8.17. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in His sufferings in order that we may also share in His glory. Our sufferings and trials are not in vain. They are an opportunity to identify with Christ and partake in His glory. We are called to embrace the cost of discipleship and hold fast to our convictions. In conclusion, my friends, let us be vigilant and discerning in these times. Let us stand firm in our faith, rooted in the truth of God's Word. Though we may face opposition, remember that we are not alone. The same forces that persecuted the prophets, and even our Lord Jesus Himself, are at work in our world today. But take heart, for our faithfulness will be rewarded. Our ultimate hope rests in the promise of eternal glory with our Heavenly Father. May we boldly shine the light of Christ amidst the darkness, living out our faith with courage and love. Let us support one another, pray for each other, and encourage one another to persevere. And may our lives reflect the transforming power of God's truth, even in the face of opposition. With heartfelt conviction and a steadfast spirit, let us navigate these challenging times knowing that the Lord is with us every step of the way. Though the world may seek to silence your voice and dim your light, take heart and be steadfast, for your faith in God is a testimony of His power and love. In the face of persecution, remember that you are not alone, for God is with you, guiding and strengthening you. Let your steadfastness shine as a beacon of hope, inspiring others to stand firm in their faith. Trust in the Lord, for He will uphold you and reward your unwavering devotion. Take courage, dear friend, for through the trials and tribulations, your faith will shine brighter than ever before. May God be with you till we meet again. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and sharing with your loved ones.